We are going to look at the process of inoculating an enterotube. We have two things in front of us. The enterotube, which is 12 compartments that have various biological tests in them. We have got a plate with bacteria. When you look at the enterotube, you should see two ends. This end has a blue cap, and under the blue cap is the little handle. And the little handle is to pull on the wire that goes down the center of the tube. If we look at it this way, you can see this wire going down the center of the tube here. The other end has a sterile needle on the end of it, and that is where we are going to pick up our bacteria. You can see the various compartments. They've got different colors. These are some sugars. On this end, you can see that these have wax on top of them. The wax allows for the creation of an anaerobic environment in order to inoculate. It's a rather simple process. We are going to start by taking this end off. This end, the, the little wire is bent. This wire is sterile. Then we're going to come down to the other end, and again, we are going to take the little cap off. That's going to expose our needle. We take our Petri dish. We are going to open it up, and again, we don't want to open it up too much. And then we are going to come in here, and we are going to rub the needle on some colony to get the colony in on it. We close the petri dish and then we'll grab the handle over here. We are going to start to pull. As we pull you will see the needle go through the center of the tube and you can see it going through the center of the tube and as it's doing that it is inoculating the various compartments. Once you've got the compartments done you go all the way down and you bring it down into the middle of the last compartment and once you've got it into the last compartment here you're going to push it back and you're going to go all the way back as you're getting it down to the end I want you to come over here and look at the wire on this edge and as you look at the wire on this edge you're going to see this little line right here which is a score and the score is going to allow you to break off the needle so we're going to push the score in like this to that spot. When you finish pushing it back in, you can see the little score over here. And if we push that score right, even with the end of the tube, you can come down here and you can see that the needle is no longer sticking out. What you do is you grab hold of the tube here, you grab hold of the needle, and you are going to bend it in one direction. You can see how it's bent there, and then I'm going to bend it back and it's just going to bend back like this and it sometimes it gets off an angle and it whips around but you can see all of a sudden it snaps and when it snaps at that point you come back and you put the blue closure on this end and remember the blue closure always goes near the wax layer and then we're going to take the white closure and we're going to put the white closure on the other end down and you see these little openings in the plastic on the side here we've got to perforate those and you don't want to take this and just try and push it through because that will cut the tape on the top and if it cuts some tape on the top it it could allow for contamination the way we do it is you take the end of the loop that has been broken off you lay it right here in the middle of that opening you put your finger on top of it and then you lift up and as you lift up, it will perforate that and it will put a nice tiny little hole in there and you can see the little hole and that will allow oxygen in to be able to aerate that compartment. And then you start here and you go down the line and you do each one like that to be able to perforate them. You lay it here, put your finger on top of it and lift it up and it will perforate them all the way down. Once you've got that done, it then becomes time to incubate this. Put your name in here, take it to the incubator, and put it in the incubator. If you put it round side up, what happens is this flat surface allows it to sit in the incubator so it doesn't roll and it make it easier to deal with. Then, after it incubates, you're going to come back and you're going to observe it, and we've got a really good screencast on how to interpret the results.